Hi friends. Welcome to the Blender Boost YouTube channel. So in the previous lesson, we talked about how to model the gift box. If you haven't seen that part yet, check it out. Link in the description. So in today's lesson, we will see how I modeled the hot air balloon. Let's go to the lesson. I come to the front view by pressing number 1. I select all these parts. I am going to make a collection. Then press M, and hit on the new collection. Now you can give it any name you like. I name this collection as gift box. Ok, now we have a new collection. And you allow to hiding the gift box with one click. Again I select the whole gift box and scale down it. Shift Z to wireframe mode. And Shift Z again to leave from wireframe mode. Now I hide the gift box from this little I button. After that, press Shift A and add a UV sphere. Then I press G Z and 1. I come to the front view. Now I unhide the gift box from here. Then grab the sphere along the Z axis. Also, you can grab objects from this move tool. After that, I hide the gift box collection. Now turn on the vertex select button and select the bottom vertex. Then turn on proportional editing. Now press GZ and grab down along the Z axis. You can adjust the proportional size from the mouse middle wheel. After that, I delete the bottom vertex. Now you can see it like this. Then I come to the front view and select the top vertex. Then grab it down a little bit. Now I delete the selected vertex. Now it looks like this. Now I select this edge ring. Then press E, Z and extrude it down. Now go to the modifier properties, and add subdivision surface modifier. Then increase this value to 2. After that, I right click and shade smooth this part. Then I go to the object data properties and go to the normals, then check auto smooth. After that, go to the edit mode. Now I press number 7, get the top view. Turn on the edge select tool. Then select these edges. First, select these four edges. Then pass 1, 2, 3, and select next. Same as here. Pass 1, 2, 3 and select next. 1, 2, 3, and next. Next. 
OK, after that, press Shift Ctrl R to offset the edge slide. Now, when I move this arrow at this side, you can see that selected edges are sliding, making an offset. If not, you can do it this way. Go to the edge. Then you can see here the offset edge slide. The shortcut is Shift, Ctrl R. When you select it, and you allow to slide edges. Now you may understand how to offset edge slide works. I undo few steps. Now I slide edges as before. Then give a small offset like this. And left click. Now press Ctrl plus. Now Ctrl minus, two times. Now you can see all middle edge loops are selected. Turn off proportional edit and scale down them a little bit. Now without clicking anywhere, press Ctrl I to invert the selection. Now press Ctrl minus two times. Now you can see what the selected edges are. Then turn on proportional edit. Then press S and scale up and try to get the shape. You can change proportional size from the mouse middle wheel. I guess it is perfect. Now I select this edge loop. Then I turn off proportional edit. Now I press S, Z and 0. Then I press Shift, Alt, S and 1 on the numpad to convert to a spear. Now you can see the perfect circle shape. After that, press E and S to scale down like this. Now press M and merge at center. Okay, now select this edge loop. I turn off proportional editing. Then I press S, Z and 0. After that pressing Shift Alt S1. Then let me show what the meanings of S, Z0 and Shift Alt S1 are. First, let me show what the S, Z0 is. I will displace these faces. Okay, now I will show what I will do when pressing S, Z0.
I select these edges. Then I press FZ0. Now you can see that the previously displaced edges are flat. But you can see another displacement middle here. So, I am going to select these all faces I need. Press number 7, go to the top view. Then select faces. Press SZ0. It means that shortcut makes the scale of the Z axis value to 0. Now you can see a flat surface. Same as this part. But at this time, the scaling value should be 0, along the X axis. Then what you need to do, press SX0. Did you get that? Then can you guess what we should do here? It should scale along the Y axis. Select faces and press SY0. Okay, that is the meaning of making the scale zero. Then let's see what the shift halt S1 is. I subdivide these faces. Then I delete the middle vertex. Now select these vertices. Then press Shift Alt S1. Now, you can see the square shape turned to a sphere shape. There is another way to do the same thing. Select vertices and go to the mesh, then transform, then to sphere. You can see the shortcut Shift Alt S. Click on it and drag the mouse on the right side. Then you can see it transforms into a sphere slowly. If you press number 1, it will turn into a perfect circle. Then you can see an operator panel here. If this disappeared once, you can't get back it. I will undo few steps. You can see this value can change in this operator panel. When this value is changing, that circle shape also changing. Same as on the other faces.
Okay, now you may understand the difference between those shortcuts. After that, I come to the front view. Then unhide the gift box. Drag it up a little bit. Press Shift Z to get the wireframe view. Then select the box and again Shift Z to leave from the wireframe. Then scale down it. Add all transforms to the balloon. Now pivot point goes to the 3D cursor. I want to get it into the balloon. Press right click. Set origin. Origin to geometry. I put this balloon in this collection. Now add a plane. Now grab it like this. And scale down T like this. Now go to the edit mode. Press X. Only faces. Then you can see it deleted only face. Now select these four edges. And extrude them along the Z-axis. Now press A to select all. Press X and delete only faces. Then select these four edges and scale down them. Then right click and subdivide. I subdivided three times. Then press Shift Alt S and 1. Then press S and scale up. After that, I come to object mode. Select the holder part and go to the object. Then convert to curve. Now you can see that mesh converted to a curve. 
then go to this object data properties then geometry now increase depth Also, increase the resolution. Okay, that is all. Then select the curve holder and go to the object. Then convert to mesh. I shade smooth it. I think the bottom part should be a little more scaled up. Now I feel it would be nice to increase the thickness of this hot air balloon. I select the balloon and go to modifier properties. Then add the solidify modifier. Then play with these values and choose the best settings. Also, I think this holder need more volume. I will add solidify modifier for the holder. Okay. Now, it's cool looking. I save this file. Then I add a plane. Grab it up. Scale down like this. Come to edit mode and delete only faces.
Then press A to select all vertices. Then press Shift Ctrl B to bevel vertices. I beveled like this. After that, I adjust the scale of this part. Now I come to the object mode. Then go to object, convert to curve. Now our new mesh converted to a curve. Now keep watching and play with these settings and values. Right click and shade smooth. Now convert it to mesh. Then I will add a circle. After that, grab it like this and scale down. Then convert it to a curve. Increase these values. Then shade smooth. Now convert it to mesh. Then press Shift Z to wireframe view. And select all like this. Then press Shift Z again to leave from wireframe view. Then add all transforms. Can you see that? This holder part has changed with the adding all transforms. Select the holder part and go to its modifiers. Then I reduce the offset value. Now you can see that fixed. This time is better to save the file.
Okay, right now, when I grab this up, the rest of the pieces are still there. Let's parent these. Then, when the balloon is moved, the other parts will be lifted along the balloon. I come to the front view and press Shift Z. Then select like this and Shift click to this part deselect. Then Shift Z again. Now you can see these all parts selected without the balloon. Now Shift click on the balloon. Then you can see a yellow outline around the balloon. That means the balloon is the active object at this time. I am going to parent all paces to the balloon. That is why the balloon should be the active object. Then press Ctrl P and click on the object. Now that's all. Then check is it working. Okay, everything is fine. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Let's meet with the animation part of the balloon. Bye, have a nice day, take care.